Welcome back, second graders. Today, we are going to work with pattern a little bit. So, um, what we're going to do is create a mug, and then around our mug, we're going to fill our whole paper with different patterns. So, first and foremost, I'm going to create my mug. So, what I want to do is create an oval shape for the top of my mug. And underneath of that oval, I'm gonna create a U shape that goes all the way around. Okay, ready? So I want to start at the one side, go down, curve, and come back up. And then on the side, I'm going to create a backward C in order to get my handle. And I wanna do that twice. So I'm going to start up here and try and end right about here. So backward C, and I'm going to do that twice so I can get my actual thickness of my handle. So another backward C inside of that. There's our mug, look at it. All right, next, we're going to put our mug on a saucer. I don't know about you, but my mom always made us use a saucer underneath of our mug so that we didn't spill on the table. Um, this is just gonna be a big oval. I kinda made mine crooked, so I'm gonna straighten mine out a little bit. And then to fix that, we're just gonna do that. There we go. All right, so um, nice big oval. Um, and then inside of this little space, I'm gonna do one more oval here. So it looks like my plate. So my cup is sitting on my plate, okay? All right, and last but not least, before we get started on our patterns, I'm going to create the uh, horizon line. And since this is inside, it is a still life drawing. I am not going to have a horizon line where the sky meets the earth. No, this is gonna be the edge of my table. So I want to make sure my edge of my table is up here. Remember, pick up your pencil, pretend to draw through your object and it should come out on the side. Now, don't put the edge of your table down here underneath your mug, because then it would look like your mug and plate are right on the very edge of the table. So you want to create the illusion that your, your coffee mug or tea mug is sitting on the table, not tipping on the edge, okay? All right, now it's time to add pattern. Remember, pattern is repeating line, shape, and color. So I want you to get creative. You can decide what kind of pattern you want to do. It could be straight lines, it could be zigzag lines, it could be um, curvy lines. You could do a combination. Look at this, I'm gonna combine straight lines and curvy lines in this one. It's just repeating. So remember, whatever you choose to do, you wanna make it repeat. And it could be repeating shapes too. So if I'm not repeating lines, maybe what I'm repeating is the shape. So let's say I have circles repeating in the background. So what I want you to do is go through and fill your whole paper with the same patterns in different areas. So choose different shapes, different lines, different colors to repeat. And when you do a section, make sure you stay with the same shape or line or pattern within that section. Okay? So that it makes it easier for us to see that it is actually your, your pattern repeating, okay? So maybe I'm going to do, um, let's do zigzags up here in the background.
All right. Now that I've filled my space with different patterns, I can go through and color this. I'm going to post a picture afterwards so you can see what a complete um, picture would look like with all of this colored in. So just remember that just like your shapes are repeating or your lines are repeating, your colors will repeat too. So if I did this red and this blue, I would go red and blue, red and blue, red and blue. So make sure that you're keeping the same pattern repeating with your color, just like you are doing with your lines and your shapes. 